So I want to introduce our Hotbox 120 Mark V. These use sealed resistors, which enables us to make them smaller, more reliable, and give a really great sound with no need for vents or gaps around them. We also like to use toggle switches because toggle switches can handle a huge amount of power, they don't break down, and they give the advantage of having repeatable modes. So on this, we have two modes, studio and jam. In studio, that's a fixed mode that does a fixed amount of reduction, which we think is just about the right amount for recording studios where you want to get the same sound again and again without any variability. Also good for jamming in pubs, takes the edge off your amplifier, takes it down a notch, but leaves it still with a lot of power. Then we have the jam mode, which kicks in the variable control. And because we're only passing a small amount of power through the variable control, the rest, most of it, is going through the heat sink and the heavy duty sealed aluminium resistors, then this doesn't overheat and it'll last forever. And that gives you the variability to go from quite loud for practicing at home, whatever situation you are, right down to zero as a load box, and all in between, so that's perfectly smooth. Of course, we've got kind of things you'd expect, two speaker outs on the back so that you can parallel your cabs rather than having to daisy chain them. And yeah, I mean, I mean, this is it really. What really matters, to be asked that, is how it sounds. So let me show you. So first of all, I'm just gonna play the amplifier without the hotbox. I'm gonna use a straightforward guitar where it's got a Gibson humbucker in it, large diaphragm condenser, so we just get a clean, simple sound. And this is just the amp, which is a, a Mesa Maverick dual rectifier. We'll do, we'll do some clean and uh, apologize for my terrible playing. <laughs> Baseline. You can come back to that. Now I'm going to plug the hotbox in and you're going to see that, uh, if anything, it will make the sound a bit better because what you tiny bit you might lose from having resistors in there, you're going to gain a whole bunch from having the ability to turn that amplifier up properly high and get some tone going out of those power tubes. Okay, so let's, let's get this back on. Now you'll notice we didn't have a bypass switch. So we could put a bypass switch in it, but it's going to make the unit bigger, it's going to make the unit a bit more expensive, and we figured you guys are either going to want to use this at home all the time, because it's, it's that good, we're that confident of it, you're just going to plug it in and leave it on, or you know, you're going to go into a big gig where you just don't take it with you. you know? so, so why charge you extra for something you're only going to use once to say, hey, look, it works. So we haven't put that in, and that's why. You know, it's deliberate. So okay, let, let's get up. We might have to get a little bit, let's go out to clean here a little bit, we might have to turn the level up a little, obviously, because we've got the attenuator in now on studio mode, so. Touch more, it's just a touch sweeter. And let's go up to the, to the rhythm, to the lead sound. Is it, this is rhythm and lead. So, bridge first. Pushing a little bit more. I mean, only pushing it 
a little bit more and uh, if you could see the output control it's not up very high at this stage because I'm still keeping the levels down realistically like way be using them at home thing so uh, let, let's swap over to jam here because that's where we really get interesting so on the jam mode we can turn this dial we can make it really quiet and now we can push the amp hard so let's see if we can get a let's see if we can just use our clean sound and make the clean sound overload so this is going to be power tubes this is all power tubes Okay, so the, the, I haven't even changed the gain on the recording of the microphone here. So this is this is clean sound. Totally hear the amp compressing there, and honestly, that, that's just speaking level. You know, and the harmonics are jumping out because we've got those power tubes really engaging, we've got the amp compression, and this is just, you know, you could play this at home. I mean, let, let's show you what I mean. It's a... Zero. Nothing. So, you know, it really does go down to nothing. It's fine. So, I'm really, I am, I'm entirely, yeah, you know, I'm so pleased with this. <laughs> so, let me swap over to the lead channel and... This is probably going to get really high gain now because we're going to have like the amp working and should we do this at 11? Let's do this at 11. Let's check on the mic gain again and make sure you can... Ooh, I forgot there's a quirk of this amp. You turn the volume the reverb goes like... Oh, we're nearly clipping on the recorder, but we're not. We're not. I'm going to do a little bit of computer whistle here. Let's, let's, let's just ignore that. Tubes are working, everything's working, and we've got we've got the gain right down. That is just power amps. Um, just so, so let's let's do this for for realsies on eleven and see what we get. This is this is going to be pretty crazy. So this is this is oh, you can hear, hear that whistle. That's how loud we are. I'm picking up my computer now. tweed amp and we're getting metal sounds out of it now so that's that's crazy i'm just gonna i'm just gonna back that right down because you know we're, we're going this so yeah I, I i believe what matters is how it sounds there you go thanks for watching